All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick update. I've got a bunch of videos coming, they're in the works. So I'll leave those videos to come out when they're finished, but I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of something I've been working on. All right, I've, I've only cut off the front of Scrappy. I'm getting ready to do the framework. I just gotta finish building this hanger and get it done. I hate working on two projects at once. So upstairs up here, I still gotta build out a little uh, paint area. I'm gonna do a big giant center section for fabric work. So we can do all our fabric work upstairs. I'm gonna heat and air condition it so it's a really nice environment to work in. Down here in the shop, I need some giant tables. I've been working on little folding tables. They work okay. I've always wanted some big, like six foot wide, 12 to 14 foot long, and a couple uh, other tables to do fabric and work. So I picked up some plywood, big six by six for some corner posts. I'm gonna do some big eight inch beams in it, long span, giant tables. Got my particle board, got some heavy caster wheels. So I'm gonna quickly knock out some big tables. That'll give me a great place to work. And uh, as soon as I get them done, I'll show you what they look like. Let's get to work. and I'm doing carbon fiber work. Then I'm gonna paint them and uh, they'll be done. So I've got a lot of sanding, a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna get back at it, <laughs> back to work. We got a little carried away. <laughs> Went ahead and uh, finished them all out completely. Used Bondo, sanded them out, got the joints out of it, painted them. So tables are done and we're breaking out some spars out of the kits. It's time to get started. The new hanger is done, and I'm organizing it, putting tools in, getting it all lined up. And, so that's a sneak peek of the, the new build center. We've got all the tables finished, but I've done something out. I'm building a plane after Scrappy. Scrappy, by the way, has finally come to a completion on the design and the engine package that's going in it, and we're getting to work. But I'm not gonna show you that motor yet. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something else really cool. While I was cleaning out the hangar and getting ready, I couldn't stand that I had the motor for my next build after Scrappy. I'm doing another racer. I built Turbulence, if those of you are familiar, it's the world's fastest single engine turboprop today. That plane needs to get beat. <laughs> I don't want it to be me to beat it. So I'm gonna build a new racer. I had the engine already ordered, it showed up, it was sitting in a corner, but in this new shop, I didn't like it sitting in a cardboard box. And now I can see my motivation for the build after Scrappy. So this is it. I'm really excited. So I put them in this box so I can actually see the next project motor. Pratt & Whitney is one of my favorite all-time motors. I've been putting in planes forever and it needed to be another Pratt & Whitney. I have never used this big of a motor on any of my builds. This is the brand new 67 Papa Series Pratt & Whitney. This has 1800 thermal horsepower. It's paired with a gearbox that has a limit of continuous duty of 1200 horsepower continuous. The reason why they're paired differently, an 1800 on the horsepower side and 1200 on the gearbox, is I don't need all the weight to have a gearbox that can go to 1800 horsepower. I want the lighter weight 1200 gearbox, but I want the 1800 horsepower motor so that I can hold 1200 instead of horsepower fading from sea level up. It can keep pushing the power up and I can hold 1200 horsepower way up into the flight level. So 1200 horsepower in the flight level 67 pop up. <laughs> Super pumped! My crack with the engine for my next racer after Scrappy. I hope you follow along. Let's get back to work. 